position c how we can perform data visualization that is part 3 of data visualization which is assignment number 10 in the practical of data science and big data analytics lab for the third year computer engineering now in assignment number 10 we have to download the iris data set or any other data set into a data frame then we have to scan the data set and give the inference as based on the features and their types available in the data set we have to create the histogram for each feature in the data set to illustrate the feature distribution then next box plot we have to create the box plot for each feature in the data set and compare the distributions and identify the outliers now for uh, data visualization we are going to use seaborn library which is a library which is built on the top of matplotlib and it is closely integrated with the pandas data structure in python so visualization uh, is the central part of the seaborn library which helps in exploration and understanding of data now for uh, initializing the seaborn library we are going to use import seaborn as sms now the uh, data set should be downloaded into the data frame so name is given as data set is equal to sms with the help of seaborn library only we are going to load the data set into the data set variable and data set name is iris so iris data set is loaded into the data set variable then next to display first few rows of this data set we are going to use the method as head method which will display first five rows for the data set so in this part of code we have imported seaborn library then data set iris data set is loaded into the variable data set and display of first few rows of the data set now this is a data set for iris data set iris and it has five features with its sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width and last feature is species now from the observation we can see that here the type of features are sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width these are the four features which are numerical in type in type and species is categorical feature which is present in the data set now this is the part one that is list down the features and their types available in the data set so create a histogram next part is create a histogram for each feature in the data set to list the feature distributions now for creating histogram we are going to use a method as histplot now for uh, we are going to create histogram for each and every feature so uh, all the four features that is sepal length weight petal length petal width should be shown in one grid only so for that purpose we are going to use uh, matplotlib dot pyplot as plt now to display the grid we are using figure axis and plt dot subplots so we are going to display 2 by 2 grid so size of the grid will be 2 by 2 and figure size so we have to mention the figure size which i have mentioned here 16 by 
now to plot the histogram we are using hist plot sns dot hist plot data set from the data set we are going to use sepal length first of all sepal length and then next one it is x is equal to axis from where for the 2 by 2 grid we have to display this that is given here now for all the four features we are going to draw the histogram now next is sepal length next is sepal grid and here the grid axis value has been changed which is 01 next is petal length axis value is 10 next is petal width axis value is 1 one so try to run this code so after running this part of code we can see that for each feature which is sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width histogram is done drawn and we can see the count of length versus count you can see the histogram of length versus count and the first part is done that is we have to create the histogram for each feature so we have created histogram for each feature now we have to illustrate the feature distribution now what type of observation we can um, create with the or uh, write with the help of this histogram that is our insights are first of all for sepal length we can say that sepal length is evenly distributed for count from 0 to 30 then next is for sepal width so for sepal width we can say that there is a normal distribution for sepal width for the count then next for the petal width petal length and petal width so we can say that these are the Uh, petal length and petal width which are having left skewed distribution because at the left side the count is more and the, at the right side count is less as compared to the left side next is second part that is we have to create the box plot for each feature in the data set and compare the distribution and identify the outliers now for identifying the outliers again we are going to use uh, matplotlib library and we are going to show the box plot in 4 2 by 2 grid only so for displaying 2 by 2 grid we are going to use uh, plot dot subplots and size of the grid is mentioned as 2 by 2 so uh, next is from the seaborn library we want to draw the box plot so box plot is drawn now mention the y and x axis that is y is petal length and x is species x is species now we have to define the data from which data we are going to use this So data is uh, in our case with uh, data frame is data set and mention the axis which is zero zero. Now in the same way we are going to write the code for drawing box plot for petal width, then sepal length and sepal width.
when you run this here you have to mention the access as 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 1 1 so otherwise it will be displayed in only one frame like this so here for all the three spaces petal length and petal width sepal length and sepal width box plot is drawn and now the time is we have to Now we have to uh, write the observations or data insights from this box plot, which is uh, if we uh, consider the setosa, then setosa is having smaller feature and less distributed. So uh, as you can see in each of the box plot, which is for petal length, petal width, or sepal length or sepal width. So we can say that uh, generally, setosa is having smaller feature and it is less distributed. Then, verticolor is distributed in an average manner and average features. So, verticolor species is distributed in an average manner, and virginica is highly distributed with large number of values. And so, uh, it is clearly the mean and median values are being shown by each plots for the various features that is for sepal length and sepal width so whatever these dots are there so these are called as the outliers so these are the outliers for the box plot thank you